style can go hand in hand. Mmm, delicious. Marianne, may I join you? Yes, Ferdinand, of course. Hmm. Um, is something wrong? I am sorry, but, uh, you seem very different compared to how you were before. <laughs> that may be true. Right there. You are smiling. I do not think I have ever seen you smile. Please, you're making me blush. I do not mean to embarrass you. I am just saying, you seem to have truly changed. Well, I have you to thank for that. In truth, I spent a lot of time thinking about what you said. It meant so much when you told me that everyone has a purpose to fulfill. Even me. I am so glad to hear you say that, Marianne. I wonder, did you find a purpose for yourself? No, not yet. But I've been much happier since I started thinking about it more. I remembered a time back when I was working at the animal clinic. The rest of the staff was so thankful for the work I had done. Even in something as simple as looking after animals, I was able to make myself useful to others. Thinking about it made me realize that anyone can make other people happy, even someone like me. It sounds to me like you have already found your answer. What do you mean? Making people happy. If you ask me, that is a truly worthwhile purpose. You may be right. Ah, uh, I just remembered. I wanted to ask about your food. Yes? What about it? Today was my turn to prepare the meal. How is it? Oh, it is delicious. The flavor and the texture are superb. So you are certainly making me happy. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I hope you will learn to like yourself. For what it is worth, I like you. Oh? Maybe, if you have the time, you can cook something for me again? For me alone, I mean. Of course, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> There you are, Marianne. I'd like a moment to talk. Oh, Linhart. Um, I was just on my way to pray. Hmm, all right. Afterwards. It's already getting late, though. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. So then, you're done? Linhart, were you here this entire time? I was sleeping. Are you ready to talk now? I suppose. My apologies for keeping you waiting. I wasn't waiting. As I said, I was sleeping. I didn't want to disrupt your prayers. I see. So, what did you want to talk about? The results of my research. Your research? I intended to look into the power of your crest from the first moment I met you. I've been feeling quite happy of late. And I can conclude that it is due to your crest. Are you sure? That's... Or, more likely, I feel good because I've recently taken a bit of exercise. Oh. 
Although, keeping you from finding out I was researching you was plenty of exercise on its own. <laughs> Listen, Marianne, I'll tell you one thing for certain. Your crest is not the source of anyone's bad luck. The research on your crest is lacking, but other crests have been studied quite a bit. I can find no proof that a crest can influence the lives of those who come in contact with its bearer. And frankly, transmitting bad luck via touch sounds like a crazy superstition, don't you agree? That may be true. By the way, eating the vegetables you gave me caused no ill effects. They were as delicious as ever. It may be another story if I drank your blood. Ugh, now I'm nauseous. Ugh, you're going to make us both sick. All right, all right, sorry. As I said, it is my scholarly opinion that your crest does not cause bad luck. Thank you for your reassurance. It does make me feel a little better. It's probably just that you and the people around you have had some bad days. It happens. I'm going to watch over you from now on, and if either of us has bad luck, well, I'll look into whether it's just chance or if it's your crest. In fact, I'll dedicate my life to it. Your life? For me? Especially for you, Marianne. <laughs> Don't make me spell it out. <laughs> Why are you sighing at me like that? Is my face really so hopeless? Ingrid, I... am trying to think of something polite to say right now. It's as if you have no experience dressing elegantly. At all. I mean, I don't. Dorothea, I appreciate you taking the time, but yes, we're in the middle of a war. It hasn't been my top priority. I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't be so hard on you. I was just surprised, is all. A gal like you, you're a beautiful young noblewoman who somehow has no experience with either makeup or fashion. This is basic stuff, Ingrid. The basics of the basics, really. But it's like you've never even tried. I was just never interested before. Even as a child, it never appealed to me. Fussy, pretty things always felt unnecessary. And gussing myself up to attract someone has never played an important part in my pursuits as a knight. But you've piqued my interest in all this. How? It's not like I'd be dressing myself up just to attract someone. I'd be dressing up for the occasion, specifically. Even if I don't dress up any other time, a special occasion such as this is a good reason to try it out. Well, yeah. That's why we dress up when we go out. You might meet someone, and you want to look your best, don't you? Get their attention, lure them in. That's the exact opposite of what I just said. You said previously that dressing up for the occasion is reason enough. Oh, I just said that so you wouldn't run off screaming. I see. My real point is that you're quite lovely even before getting all fixed up. Absolutely bewitching, in fact. So when I'm finished with you, well, someone looking at you could be forgiven for wanting to pounce. Could they be? I don't know that I'd forgive them. Oh, I know. That's why just before I lunge, I'm gonna ask permission. Uh, permission is not granted. Ever. Just back off. <laughs> Professor Hanneman, how unexpected. Hello, Miss Dorothea. There is something I would like to ask you, should you have a moment. And whatever would that be, Professor? Ah, it's just some rumor I heard about your prejudice against the nobility. You remember when you came to me before and we talked about how I used to be noble? I was just wondering what your aim was. To clarify, I only hate nobles who are obsessed with their status. You're not that kind of man, Professor. I mean that, really. And it sounds like you never were. I see. But hating nobles obsessed with their status 
You must have had some terrible experience in the past. Ah, my apologies. That was rather presumptuous. No, it's fine. As I'm sure you know, I was a highly praised songstress for a time. Before I was a singer, though, I was an orphan. And before that, I was the daughter of a noble's maid. My goodness! From an orphan to a renowned songstress. That is quite a life you have led, Miss Dorothea. Well, I don't remember much of my early years. My father was never there, and my mother was driven out of the noble house where she worked. Before long, she fell ill. I was always alone, and I lived in the alleys of the Imperial capital, just trying to survive from one day to the next. I see. Eventually, after I became a singer, I met the nobleman that I think is my father. Oh. He'd had a child with a maid, but the child didn't have a crest. So he threw them both away. Those were his very words. I can't prove that he really was my father, but I suppose it doesn't matter. He didn't know who I was. And when he flirted with me, my feelings were something beyond fury. I was dumbfounded. In truth, I felt that way about all of the nobles who flocked around me, yet would just as easily have tossed me away should it better suit them. You have my most heartfelt of apologies, Dorothea. I am afraid my curiosity has opened old wounds. Sadly, it is undeniable that the nobility is full of such terrible people. Perhaps even myself. Professor? Oh, it is nothing. Just lost in a memory of my own. Just know that I will do my part to ensure that you always know kindness in this world. I... Thank you. Meeting reinforcements in the Valley of Torment seems an astute decision to me. In that land of oppressive heat, it is unlikely that we will be disturbed. It also means we will need to contend with those harsh conditions ourselves, however. Best ensure we are well prepared. I have something to ask of you. Well done. You have my thanks. There is still more to learn. years, yet so much has changed. Half of the kingdom has fallen to the Empire. Skirmishes are rife throughout the Alliance. Despite such tumult, we look upon the same sky, unchanged by the storm happening beneath it. Indeed, I gazed up at the same sky with mother and father. It does not feel so long ago at all. Wait, but how would you know, Professor? Um, what well, valley of torment? Valley of torment. I once read a book full of legends surrounding ALL, but I can't seem to remember.
can't believe the Valley of Torment. I'd heard of it, but I never expected to go there. It's exciting. I wonder what the landscape is like. Hmm. That is an interesting point. The name does seem to suggest that. The monastery repairs have made solid progress. Most excellent news. When we first returned here, I was unsure what we were going to do with the ruins of this place. But if we can get the cathedral rebuilt, we'll have it looking just like old times soon enough. There is still more to look. student has died cuts me right to the heart. As this war with the Empire continues, we'll see more of it, Professor. We have a duty to fight alongside our former students. We taught them how to fight after all. Now, let's help them win. we'd end up fighting Randolph. He's my uncle. Well, not by blood, so... I guess I can handle it. Don't worry about me. I'm ready for anything. People talk about the hero of Daphnal. If the stories of her courage are true, no one will be able to stand against us. In different circumstances, I'd have wanted to try crossing swords with her. Right now, we have to focus on getting to those reinforcements. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Galateas are an offshoot of the Daphne family. The family split in half, and two brothers quarreled over an inheritance. Despite blood relations, the families lived apart from one another, so the relationship has been distant and somewhat estranged. I'm not so much acquainted with Judith, the head of House Daphne. Some of our friends believe that if we get those reinforcements, we'll be set for provisions, too. But I think it's best not to hold our breath on the food front. With the added headcount from the reinforcements, there will be even more mouths to feed. Right. Since the past, I have learned much of the language of Fodlin. But speaking the Fodlin language still gives me difficulty. I can understand, read, and write with nearly perfection now. But understanding and speaking are fruits of a different color. I have gratitude for you, Professor. I hope that I will have fluency one day. I 
never do get used to the sight of blood. It always makes me feel as if I might faint. I suppose I've told you that, though, yes? I have no idea how you cope with it. I hope this war ends soon. I dislike being lightheaded because other people are bleeding everywhere. Though the thought of working hard for it does sound like quite a pain. Gotta clean out the storerooms, tend the flowers, do the washing, dust the library. No, this is my job. Lady Rhea herself gave it to me. Even if Lady Rhea's not here right now, I still gotta do my duty. Like you, you gotta have other stuff you ought to be doing, yeah? I have lived inconspicuously these past five years, so as not to be discovered by the Empire. To be able to finally return to the monastery again is overwhelming. I hope that our brothers and sisters who ran far away will also return one day. Pardon me. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Is everyone setting out on a big campaign? Not exactly. Ah, so you're meeting up with the reinforcements. Well, you can leave guarding this place to me. I'll keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Really, there's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about, aside from my great deals. Hey, how about a favor? 
Professor, thanks for your hard work again. Nothing to report today. <laughs> was I convincing? Was it like he was standing right in front of you? Some things are the same as they were five years ago, but I guess a lot more has changed. Professor! Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? Return soon, please. spies around. Remain vigilant. Capture anyone who seems suspicious. I'm glad you understand. I'm counting on you. is that? It sounds scary. Do I really have to go with you? Hey, um, here's an idea. Maybe let the recluse stay home and hold the fort.
Some in Fargus believe Dimitri is still alive. My father is one such eccentric. <laughs> they can't accept reality. Dimitri is dead. He's not coming back. Someday we will take the Imperial Capital. It is odd to think that I will be invading the very city that I once called home. Ah, that is still a ways off. I will prepare for our journey to Aelo. Even though we're getting reinforcements, we should still be prepared for the worst. Never shirk your training, no matter what. To practice, I'm going to chop something up with my sword. Unless you'd like to train together. Care to spar? a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks. A bunch. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks. A is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back soon. I hope things welcome. Is that the one? 
works a bunch. Come back soon. Hello there. Return soon, please. Welcome. Will this one do? Come back soon. Nice job! My big brother told me stories of Judith's bravery. With just one look, she tamed a runaway horse that nobody else had been able to touch. When an Almiran general provoked her, she talked him into a tearful apology. She's spectacular. I wish she'd fight alongside us. I'd like to confirm something with you. That seems reasonable. We'd better get to work. I am a little... Here's the result. I think I got it. Could be useful.
nothing like a moment of perfect stillness. Why is it preferable to have stillness? <laughs> Petra? Please don't sneak up on me like that! Oh, you're here too, Professor? What's going on? I was asking my question first. What are you enjoying about air that is still? Um, still air makes me feel better, that's all. It means you're in a nice, closed-off space where you can hide. But spaces that are wide and open are wonderful. Places like forests and oceans. Guess we'll have to agree to disagree about that. I am not understanding your answer. But I am appreciating your explanation. I am reminded. I was wanting to ask if you wish to be going to the forest or ocean with me. Um, what? What part of anything I said would make you think I wanted that? So, your grandfather is in trouble. He's trying to lend us soldiers from Bridget, but... Edelgard is sending messengers there to convince Bridget she's not their enemy. You are saying messengers, but the truth is they are a threat. Bridget is having no power to refuse. I get it, but what does this have to do with me? Professor was asking this of me. I was told, if I am going to a faraway place, to be taking Bernie with me, since she is hiding away. What? Professor? What did I do to deserve this? I know I'm a recluse, but I do go out on missions once in a while. You say that, but I don't think I'm ready for this. Bernie, I'm wanting this as well. Please, join me. Since you put it that way, Petra, I'll think about it. Do you really want me to go, Professor? All right, I'll lend a hand, for everyone's sake. What is the point of lending a hand? Are you not needing both of them to battle? What? No, it's a figure of speech. Oh, don't make me imagine that. Strength, the enemies may be winning, but I am having an idea. I have been hearing that my friends are being imprisoned in the Western Stronghold. We will be taking the Stronghold and releasing our allies. Do not let loose your hope. Oh, what? That side's crawling with enemies! We should go east! Way fewer of them over there! I will prevail. Ready for anything. What's my strategy? Another victory. More fighting. It's 
win or die. All Ready when you are. Prepare yourself! I aim for greatness. Keep it up. I'm awake. My turn. All of us. Guide me well. Won't be in vain. Dirty my hands if I must.
your strategy. That is all. I can feel it. Only thorns left on this rose. You left me no alternative. Leave them well. No time for pity. I... Splendid attack. My duty is your death. Ignorance is deadly. I'm open. little diplomatic errand to Bridget just got interesting. It seems we have some special guests. Capture the road ahead before they reach it. If they are blocking the road, I will not have the ability to be seeing my grandfather. They must be moving quickly.
destiny unfurls. Don't waste it. Not stray. Next try. See this war through. is your job. Defeat me, left. weakness.
It's win or die. as always. All is for victory! Ah! If I live, I fight. Amazing. Turn the tides. I'm glad I can count on you. It is done. Onward. Bridget. Lightly. Next try. Lucky. Bridget is a vassal of the Empire. You will not turn them against us.
so much. I'm finally grabbing. I must lead them well. It is done. Now I can be meeting my grandfather. We must be moving with haste. Finally over? Whew. All right, let's get out of here. This isn't exactly, um, the ideal environment for a recluse, you know? I will be speaking with my grandfather. Once he is convinced, I will be returning. Professor, everyone. Please be waiting here. Enemies may still be nearby. Got it. We'll wait right here. And if anyone comes, um, the professor will handle it. Right, professor? vegetation around here is pretty different from the kinds we usually see. It may be no good for a recluse, but the forest does have its own charms, doesn't it? Didn't you know? I love greenery! Especially carnivorous plants! They're my favorite! Yes! They just sit there, nice and still, and wait for their dinner to come to them! How great is that? And they all look so unique, too! What? Don't you think so? Oh, look! Petra's back! Sorry to be making you wait. I have spoken with him. It's been a long time since you've seen your grandfather, huh? How'd it go? As is usual, my grandfather was well and strong. He was saying that he will be supporting us and giving us troops. That's great! So we did it? We did. You have my thanks. Ever since we were losing the war to the Empire, Bridget has been viewed as a vassal state. But with Fodlin at war, it is a chance for Bridget to be changing our situation. Our cooperation today is part of that chance. Bridget is wanting equality with Fodlin. We will be working hard to make this happen. Huh. Bernie? What is it you are feeling? You're amazing, Petra. You went all by yourself to a foreign country? You worked hard for your homeland and you achieved your goal. I'm always focused on my own problems and I barely ever get anywhere. That is not the truth. You were fighting hard for me. You came here to be helping everyone. You were not thinking only of yourself. I am never doubting that you are working hard. We will be working together to keep moving forward to the future. You really mean it? That's so nice! And you were telling me about your interest in foreign vegetation. That is one reason why I wanted to be bringing you here. Did it make you happy? It did! It was really exciting! I've got so many drawings I need to do before we head back! I might even have enough to make into a book! Yeah, I should do that! Wanna help, Professor? 